Good day everyone, this is your friend Jake and then in this tutorial video, I will solve another requested machine problem from our one of our subscriber. Before we start, I would like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers in my channel. If you're new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button, click the notification bell, select all so that you will be notified with my newly uploaded video and don't forget to like share and please support me channel guys by clicking the subscribe button so let's get started one of my subscriber asked my help to solve a particular machine problem to create a simple password in java using string equals function or method in java so i just uh, wrote this code package test import java uh, util scanner for input output <coughs> And then public class password. So the name of our class is password, public static void main string args. And every Java program, this um, method is always there. It is the first one that is being executed by our Java interpreter. And then when we terminate the program, this is also the first the, the first one that is being terminated. Next, line number 20, we have here scanner input, new scanner, system in. This library files allows us to use the capability of Java util scanner for input output. The word util can be changed in other words, in different words, what you like you know, or preference. And then in this line of code 22 up to 24, we have here the title of our program, simple password in Java. Line 22, we are simply have system out print line for new line. And then here, take a closer look in line 28 and 30. We are asking the user to give a password no, or enter the password. So we declare a, a variable string password1 equals input next line. So we have new line if password one equals this is already the uh, a function no a string function compares this thing to specified object. The result if true if only the argument is not null meaning there is no blank value it is string object that represents the same sequence of characters as of this object. So, the word we have here is all capital letters secret. If it is true, it will display a message on our screen. Password is accept is granted. Else, if it is not true, the password is denied. And then we have here the termination of our uh, end of our program. That informs the user that the program has been ended. And then we have your input closed because we have to close our scanner here in every program that we are using this scanner util scanner uh, library. Okay, so let us test our program so that we can see the result. Let us compile first to check if there is some syntax error. Click play button. Okay, it's running. Let's say for example, we have a wrong password. What will happen? password is denied and a program let us run again let's say we supply with the right password password is granted and a program now what are the things that we have learned in this sample program number one we learn about how to use the equals function a string manipulation in java to compare the given password and then the password that we put here that is all capital letter secret number two we have learned also how to use simple conditional statement in java that is the if else statement and then number three we have also learned about how to use this import java util scanner for input output uh, routine in java so, this is the end of our tutorial video guys. I hope that you have learned in this simple tutorial on how to create a simple password in Java. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and please support my channel if you are new by clicking the subscribe button. If you have some question, just leave in a comment section of this uh, video tutorial. See you in the next video tutorial guys. This is your friend Jake saying bye bye for now.